it's not really the system, the system as we think about it. It has been a plan that was implemented years ago by Republicans. And this particular plan was bought, brought forth with the help of Steve Bannon. Steve Bannon, by way of 4chan, I've never been on 4chan, but I've heard about 4chan, right? Um, 4chan is a system where people can go over and share memes and 4chan was used by Steve Bannon to bring forth the problems that we have with the internet today. This is a documentary over on Netflix that breaks it all down. If you noticed, I wasn't around at all yesterday. I was in a funk, a depressive funk yesterday. So yeah, I wasn't posting. I didn't go to work. I had to get my mind together. And in doing that, I came across this documentary on yesterday and I watched it. This documentary talks about how 4chan came about. It talks about what 4chan was originally used for, a bunch of people coming together, sharing crazy memes, sharing jokes, all of that stuff, right? And then 4chan took a turn, right? Steve Bannon got involved, and when Steve Bannon got involved, it brought in the angry white men. It brought in that hateful racism. And then that spilled over into other avenues like YouTube and Facebook and um, Twitter. It all started with 4chan and 4chan was birthed from another site called 2chan that started over in Japan. Steve Bannon infiltrated this site and once Steve Bannon and his army started to do what they were doing over on 4chan, then came the conspiracy theorists, QAnon, um, all of these batshit crazy people. Yeah, it all started with 4chan. I highly recommend the watch. And then the people, Anonymous, they talk about how Anonymous was born from 4chan. And how Anonymous was born was because they were um, a group of people that were attempting to use social media, use the internet for good, Occupy Wall Street, those types of things. Um, and then from that, there was a branch off into what we now know as the conspiracy theorists, the QAnon, the spread of misinformation, the lies, the, the, the snake people, the pedophiles underneath the tunnel of the White House, the pedophiles in the basement of the pizza pizzeria, all of that stems from 4chan. Mm -hmm. And then the people who started all of this nonsense, they tried to wheel it back in at some point. But by that time, it was too little too late. There was no changing the minds of these batshit crazy people. And there's a reason why these batshit crazy people follow Donald Trump. It all stems into what Steve Bannon was able to do with the angry white man over on 4chan. You know that Steve Bannon's name is mixed up in a lot of these unscrupulous things that have been taking place politically. It goes into talking about how 4chan and what started out in 4chan led to January 6th and, and why all of these particular people seem to be following Donald Trump. 
I highly recommend the watch. The more you know.